finally come. And we're back, and we're gonna jump out this window. Or slowly crawl through it. Why are they all looking back? That's not good. Oh, it's number three. Wow, you really It's our buddy. It's our bug friend here. Jeez. Oh my god. What the hell? He's a little worse for wear. Problem is, he's, um. He's a little mad. Yeah. So, uh, in the last episode, we were talking about Counter Strike 2, now C Sharp. We're gonna continue it. Is CS. Uh, CS2 fixed now? For the most part, but I feel like they should have, you know, not even had that happen in the first place. Like, they should have shipped a perfectly working product instead of, you know, just sticking to the deadlines sense. of them, you know, promising it that, like, summer 2023, which, you know, turned out to not be summer because they shipped it at, like, September. Oh, man. So, you know, Valve time. <laughs> I feel like if they did proper valve time on Counter-Strike 2, it could have been something, you know, much better than the sum of its spots. Okay, I need to save up here. Can you even play CSGO anymore? I rarely do at this point. Well, I'm saying, like, can you in general? You, you can go back and play Technically, CSGO? you can, but the problem is all of the matchmaking services, they've been shut down. Oh, that's lame. So, you're essentially stuck playing either private matches, or you're stuck playing bot matches, so, you know. What the fuck? Why do they... I fucking hate it when they do that. It's so stupid. Absolutely. Anyway, it's time yeah. to say hello to... Oh! Yeah! Oh, there she goes! Go get her! Absolutely. She loves you. Wow, she's... We, we do get to see her C-sharp. Yeah. Glad to see you. Before yeah. we start recording, I asked C-Sharp, are we going to see Alex? He's like, maybe. Perhaps. Because I wasn't sure how Perhaps. much the coastal sec section would take, but... I I'm, making, so I'm making good time. I'm making good time. All right, catch her. No. You are. Oh, by the way, I checked out the uh, that model of Alex that you were talking about. Oh, the cinematic mod one. Oh, no. The cinematic model? Oh, no. Meow. <laughs> oh no, insane no model. <laughs> no. <laughs> it wasn't that bad. It's just yeah, she shows some, a little bit more skin in her top it's, part it's of just, her outfit. It's just over the top cleavage. Like it doesn't fit with the rest of the game. <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> Not at all. But it gives me an idea. <laughs> all right, fine, fine. The little we do know is all bad. Man. Uh oh. So we get to fight with Alex now. This is great. And then yeah. Alex just dies. Yeah, it's one of those segments where you actually get the battle with Alex. Although, I do all of the heavy lifting in this. Alex, did you know I am a bug lord? <laughs> I am a Zergly lord? Yeah. Over here. Yeah? No. No. Yeah, let's see what yeah, you got. Whip, whip it out, baby. Yeah? Now time to find Morgan Freeman. Oh my god. These poor people. Ah! Oh, hey, hey. There, there oh, he oh, there he is. All right, I think I can bring Dad, it's me. I brought a hot stud with me. <laughs> I'm, I'm, about to, I'm about to smash his brains out right in front of you. <laughs> when you wake up, you'll probably see a lot of white stuff on the screen. Yeah. <laughs> You just see, like, a smile protrude on his face, but he doesn't move anything else. No kidding. He's like, yeah, it's my daughter. <laughs> well, it means... Oh, shit. The hell gas. Well, I mean, we, but we were in Black Mesa East. He, like, kind of gave off that vibe of, you know... There's nothing Gordon can't handle, with a possible exception of you. <laughs> but, you know, implications. But still. Gordon, my daughter, is the biggest challenge you'll ever face. She a crazy ass bitch. <laughs> yeah. Problem is you're not wrong. Alex for Smash. <laughs> not even Gordon Freeman, just just mm. Alex for Smash Brothers. Yeah. All right, let's see. Dad, we're gonna smash right here. All right. Let me see if I can get this open. You absolutely can, girl. Yeah, use those hips, bitch. Then he wake up and he's a mind flare. 
Oh, oh, hey, baby. How you doing? Give me the fuck out of you. Is that really you? I can't believe you found me. Yeah. Are you all right? I'm fine. Dad, I was about to blow him. You've got to get out of here. We're here to get you out, Dad. Never mind me. Save yourself. No. Damn it, Dad! Your brains. You got. You're smart, dude. We need you. Ah, uh, brains foreshadowing. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Not, not in this done? game, though. Not in this game. Oh shit. But something Episodes happens to those two. brains. Oh man. Man, the facial expressions on Alex are great. Absolutely. Still. I don't know about this guy. <laughs> Judith? Yeah, that, that assistant that kept fucking going on on the tangent. Fucking Judith? Yeah. We don't ever save anybody named Judith. I'll see you there, baby. I'll see you there, baby. I'll see you there, Bobby. And this is where right. we get to do another... <laughs> we get to do another genre of video game. This time it's gonna be Tower Defense. <laughs> All right, Mr. Freeman, you played RTS. Have you played any TDs lately? Right. Yeah, no kidding. Tower defense games are fun for a time, and then I get bored of them real quick. Yeah, absolutely. No. Used to play tower defense mods on Warcraft 3 all the time. I used to play some of the Bloons Tower Defense and, you know, other related Flash games of the Tower Defense. Type. Yeah, it was amazing, dude. Warcraft 3 mods invented so many genres, like MOBAs, fucking tower defense and all that. It's crazy. And since they it's... cannot really spawn an audio source onto you... Uh-huh. Hello? Are we waiting for... Oh. Oh, there we go. Excuse me? Hello? Alex? 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 Oh, Alex? there we go. She's eating the head crab. Oh, sorry, I was really hungry. And yeah, because they hey. can't really use audio sources, they just use TVs for audio. Yeah. Hey, I, you know, is that one of their, like, workarounds or something? Yeah. It's like the same one we, we talked about while doing the TV. Yeah. I mean, that's fine. It makes it seem more natural anyway. Like, oh, she's using a TV. That makes sense. Yeah, absolutely. In a in a prison or something. And we get to the. She's this. really just above you. Hey, you do. Yeah, I always know. All right, let's get in. <laughs> let's do some vent crawling. All right, I'm venting to you. Um. Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay, I'm done venting. Yeah, they bring in head crabs, which is you know a little too late to introduce. Dude. Careful when you crawl through vents if you ever play Alien Isolation. Shit gets really fucking scary in that. Oh, I remember. I can get rid of that. <laughs> Pshu. That all you Wait, stinky you like bastards? Yeah, that's all. You yeah. played Alien Isolation? I have not, but I have seen a bunch of videos about that game. My god, does that look fucking horrifying? Uh, it is, dude. Uh, um... That's not supposed to happen. <laughs> the head crab's like, <laughs> Believe? Oh, yeah, I, I should be able to get to that um, crate, but um. I'll tell you this real quick, and we'll never tie away alien isolation again, because it's too scary. So, it the is last thing I played in that game, or the last memory I have, and I never played it afterwards, was literally. I thought I escaped the creature because it was chasing me through the yeah. hallways, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna get down this vent. I'm like, all right, I'm safe in the vent. And I'm moving slowly, and it's never happened before where I encountered anything in the vent. All of a sudden, I hear a, a pe peculiar noise at the other end, and I'm like, oh, God, what is that? And I hear it, the Xenomorph sound happening. I'm like, oh, God, oh, God. And then it just crawls so fast towards me in the vent, and I, I put the controller down and never played the game again. Yeah, that's the kind of shit that fucking scars you for life, bro. I even did, like, an Xbox uh, recording clip of it, which I probably have somewhere. If they don't delete the old footage. Anyway, it was scary. One of the scariest games I've ever played. It's that fucking game. And I like scary games, C Sharp. I, I don't. <laughs> that guy wasn't. That guy wasn't doing. I'm gonna anything. give this guy some head trauma. Cause why not? I I love playing, you know, Resident Evil games, Dead Space, and all that. I like that shit. Yeah. Silent Hill. 
Oh god. But Alien Isolation. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. I remember playing like the opening parts of um of Resident Evil 4 as a oh, kid. Yeah. As a kid on like my cousin's PS2 as I was, you know, visiting over uh, at, at yeah. like his, you know, like like yeah. what, what's the best word to put it like like a summer home, I guess. Yeah, that that sort of okay. deal. Yeah. And my god, I was horrified of that game. <laughs> I am so glad. I am so glad he also had Gran Turismo 4 and other games. You wanna try something else? Uh, sure. Yeah, RE4, uh, there were some scary parts in it when I played Absolutely. it back on the game. And I mean the whole village part where you get like jumped by a bunch of villagers. Yeah, um, when they remade the fourth game and that part you're talking about, when the chainsaw, the chainsaw guy comes in, it's even like more fucking scarier than and this time around. I was like, holy shit! Doesn't that guy give you like insta death? Um, he yeah he he does, but there's ways to like counteract his his chainsaw blade. You can like try to parry it with a with a knife. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> Insano well, hey. knife mode. Hey, as long as it works, Ooh. right? I'm gonna put yeah. up, I'm gonna put up some turrets. To do my so, yeah, it's still like adrenaline, adrenaline fueled sections in that game. Even more, uh, the remake is. I beat it like five times now. It's, that's how much fun I've had with it. Man, I I love is... I'd love to tackle those games, but the problem is I don't really know anyone who has you know played them in the past who you know could be like a wingman for me to guide me through. Uh, me? Oh, well, that, well, <laughs> that makes it simple. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I I can. Be the wingman for two remake, three remake, four remake. No, no, uh, no. I, I meant the OG games. The oh, the, oh god, the OG games. Um, <sighs> I hear that anxiety. Like, <laughs> the fir it, it's because if you don't play those games for a while, you kind of forget how the I puzzles see, work see. and stuff. Uh, but all the remakes, I can be the wingman, but. Yeah, because a lot of the times you are just running around wasting time trying to figure I out see, puzzles. I see, I see. Um, yeah, no, excuse I totally me. agree. Uh, Having a wingman would be great. <laughs> I mean, speaking of wingmans, like, I don't know whether it's just me, but, like, over the years, I have grown out of that, like, you know, solo gaming phase. Like, every time I play some sort of a video game, like, I look for ways to actually play it with friends. Well, that's because, um, well, how do I say this? Like, I'm okay with both, no problem. But yeah. I, I like I like it when it has, you know, allows you to have the choice of single player or multiplayer. It's good. Because uh, I like having ways to come back to a game I really had a good time in. Oh my god, she just yeah. came out of that? Yeah, he just okay. dropped in. Let's see if we can find that was amazing. It looks like this station might give me better access. Yeah. That's why I like Red Dead Redemption 2 so much, because single player is amazing and the multiplayer is a ton of fun. Yeah, multiplayer is a bag of fun. Even, even despite the um the shortcomings. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh. Well, well, well. Plot twist. I'm ranting. Uh-oh. Working with the enemy. Fucking bitch. Look at Alex's poor face. She's like, are you kidding me? Yeah, it's like... <laughs> She's like, I'm gonna choke that fucking whore the next time I see her. And titty, titty twister. <laughs> Meanwhile, Gord Freeman's be hopping around. <laughs> Get a, Gord Freeman's a little antsy guy. Yeah, no kidding. I'm all out of time. Yeah. Alex is having a mental breakdown. Oh, god damn it. That fucking traitorous slut. Yeah, this up the next level of security. My pants. <laughs> hey, Alex, you know what makes me feel good? This crowbar up my ass. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine that. 
Imagine that. All right. Imagine that, baby. Yeah. Oh, deeper into the lair. Yeah. Unfortunately, we're going to have two on. Oh, God. I hate this idea. <laughs> he remembers. You know, C Sharp, if you ever. I mean, I don't mind doing Resident Evil old games with you and stuff, but since I kind of have faint memory of those ones, you could always just look up walkthroughs. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, remember when I said one of these bits was electrified? Well, there you have it. <laughs> you weren't lying, folks. He wasn't lying to us. Motherfuckers, dude. They don't even give... <laughs> Excuse These things me. do not give a fuck. I'm walking here. I'm trying to get electrocuted. It is bullshit. All right, now the problem is we need to figure out a way to jump past that without getting tased. Okay, you get in the water and hold your breath. <laughs> you wish. Oh, oh, oh! Don't, don't drop <laughs> oh, God, it. Was... That would have been a picture of wrapped right there. There's a... You, you've heard of Amnesia, right? Dark Descent? Oh, yeah. I, so... If I remember right, that game also tries to mess with you, like... Metal. Oh, it does. It, it's, a, it's a pretty spooky game. So there's a part that's kind of like this. Uh -oh. Where you, oh, shit. Okay, I'm no, just gonna you go gotta you gotta have platforms on the water to get across, but it's not electricity you have to worry about. You have to worry about this invisible creature that only attacks you if you hit the water. Yeah, so, I see. So, as soon as you get to that segment, the thing is already running at you, and the game re has you supposed to react on jumping onto a platform. If you don't, you're just dead. Wow. That's a little yeah, bit of a it, janky level design, if I'm gonna be real with you. <laughs> All you hear is this water splash, and you're like, wait, what is going on? And then it's pretty much right there. You're like, oh god! Wait, why am I doing this? We got a gravity gun. Yeah, you're a gravity man, come on. You got a lot of weight behind it. A little gravity gun. A big old gravity gun. Alright, another tower defense segment is coming up. Right, so is my pay raise. <laughs> Flat. Flat. Like how the guards are just here now. As in like they're like, alright, we're just here, you're gonna kill us real quick, but we just wanna be there just in case you, you want something to shoot at. Oh, there sure is some more turrets, but um Ooh. Oh, lots of health too. There is a way See, of actually gaming you know, the system on these. You were playing an RTS from a shooter, and now you're playing TD from an RTS. It's just ever-changing. I'm gonna charge up with this. I'm gonna hope that I can actually survive just having these turrets next to me. Just attach it to your shoulders and become turret man! But yeah, the idea is... Just let these things handle everything else and you just you know chill in your cubby hole do they run out of ammo ever no oh sweet oh no and that's the problem you need to be aware of oh boy that would get annoying alternatively cheese. you can use them as a way to have infinite bullets this is fucking nuts, dude. You're walking around holding a turret like this. That's sick. Problem is, this tactic is not wow. really effective because, you know, you're still exposed to dead ammo. Dude, that's awesome. Patch me up. Some guy shot you from behind? What the fuck? Yeah, and you got immediately owned by the, um, by the turret. Oh, okay. I was like, damn, what a good shot. Hello? 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 I, he I hear them. <laughs> oh, how dare you knock your buddy over? What an asshole. Yeah, this is what they do. You deserve so much better than him. <laughs> Al meanwhile, Alex is getting jealous that you're man manhandling a turret. She's like, God, I wish that was me. <laughs> yeah, I, I wish he could handle me like that. And I would shoot bullets out of my 
never mind. <laughs> no, go ahead. <laughs> just, uh, Alex, you were saying something? Nothing. Just, just keep killing him. Oh, no. Your buddy's dead. Or not. Wow, you, like, fucked him up by tricking him. He's like, oh, God, a turret behind me. Yeah, I, this is crazy. I fuck, yeah, I hate this place. This is intense, dude. There's, see, what's crazy, what makes it more intense, there's no timer or anything. You just gotta just hold out the whole time. Yeah, you gotta hold <laughs> out until, you know. Yeah? I'm gonna pull out. Nice, more missile ammo. I like that. Yeah, like we'll we'll ever get to use it here. Can't we don't. <laughs> what the fuck? This guy is like he's in your crib. Wow, that turret is not good at hitting those things. It is not. Which is kind of weird. Yeah, this turret's really not that good at, at all. Just made as a suppression thing. They're literally being held up in a tripod state. Yeah, like, they have no excuse to be this, like, flimsy. It's just lazy manufacturing. Ah, these were made in China, so that's why they're not working very well. <laughs> Alright, I think that... Okay, this text line means we've got, like, maybe two more waves, if I remember right. Oh, shit! And that's when we'll end the episode. Foreshadow episode ending. Yeah. No, those are always fun to hear. <laughs> Be sure on. Oh, your, thir your third buddy's gone. And that ought to do it. Ah, oh. There she is. Yeah. Man, she n just does Sorry, not give a so fuck. Looks like we could have used some Sorry, I took so long, Gordon. I was I pooping. Again, <laughs> yeah, I did some no, major awesome. plot stuff, but... um. Now in the next episode, we will find out a major plot thread and see if she's wearing any underwear. Yeah, see absolutely. you later. See you later. <laughs>